Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dan. Today we're going to continue our Eurovision Marathon with uh, Ukraine. They just chose their representative for this year. And we have here um, Alina Pash, I guess that's how you pronounce her name. And she's going to sing, uh, should I try to pronounce this one? <laughs> Tini Zabutich Predkiv. I mispronounced that, I'm pretty sure, but just like, I did my best. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna talk a whole lot, I'm just gonna go straight into this reaction. Before I start, please consider following me on Instagram and Facebook, subscribe to the channel for more reactions, covers, um, original music from time to time. I posted my original song a couple weeks ago, you can check it out, I'm gonna link it down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, what else? I have a new song coming soon, so stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I, you, I'm ready for this. Go. <laughs> I mean, that is such a dramatic performance, you guys. Wow. <laughs> so far, I must say, this is, I think, my favorite song after I Italy. It is really, really good. I really like the melodic line. Um, she sings in Ukrainian, most probably, which I appreciate, because, like I said, we need diversity at Eurovision. We need many, many languages. It's just, uh, it's boring when all the countries are singing in English. I'm not a fan of that. I like that she's singing in Ukrainian. Um, I'm not sure what the song is about, but I'm, I am gonna say it is about, well, it is a very uh, traditional, a very national, pure Ukrainian song, I must say. There are uh, elements from, like, Ukraine that sound specific to Ukraine, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I guess the song is about, like, history. I think it, it kind of reminds me of Jamala in, um, I think she went to Eurovision in 2016 most probably, I'm not sure, when she won, by the way. We have this kind of song, like, uh, which talks about the history of Ukraine and uh, dramatic things that happened in the past. Wow, but I really love the melodica. I must say, I like this one better than Jamala, 1944, actually. In the, um, I like her voice more. She, she has such a, such a great, unique timbre. And I love those cry that she does at the, at the chorus. Very, very unique. Really nice. I really love the melodic line and how dramatic the song is, how, how epic it sounds, and her delivery, her emotional delivery is really nice. Like, you can really feel what she's singing about. My folks are best described in writings of Juma. Oh, English, yeah. A little bit of English is good. The freedom, the divine tragedy. But when you pick us, it's the divine strategy. And my childhood girls played with toy dolls, but it's I wrote this right here. Because my favorite toy was the book of Shakespeare. Just like the brothers scream, I live behind a piece of me. Remember your ancestors. Yeah, I was kind of right. It's about like ancestors and uh, things that happened in the past with Russia. We know what I'm talking about. Um, I guess it's about that because I, I don't understand Ukrainian. But um, I was I was right about that. The message of the song and it's so like empowering and, and sad at the same time. I'm getting goosebumps when she's doing this. 
Look at her, look how good she delivers the song. She's belting here like crazy. That's so nice. You guys, the background. Oh my fucking god, that's so emotional. This performance is one of the best. Like that background crying and she hitting all these high notes with so much emotion and that cry that she does. Like she can really express the message of the song so freaking well. I'm really impressed right now. I know that. Alina Pash. Oh, she really gave those emotions away. Uh, what would, what does that mean? Like those sounds at the end. If you guys know, please let me know in the comments below because I have no idea what that means. But I guess it expresses something. It's not just just like that created. Uh, like I said, this is my, uh, well not my favorite, my, my second favorite song so far this year, after Italy. But I feel like I'm gonna listen to it more and I'm gonna like it even more and it might become my favorite song at Eurovision this year so far. However, I didn't write that many countries yet. But this is a really nice one. I really like how powerful, emotional, uh, dramatic it is. So nice, and I really like her voice. She has great vocal technique. No pitchiness whatsoever. She was pretty much on key most of the time. Um, she had those kind of like low, breathy notes, warm in the beginning, and then at the chorus, she gave us those beltier sounds, those like really chesty notes with a lot of power and resonance. Uh, and, and that sound that she does it is very, very high, by the way. That it's, Kind of sounds funny, but it's um, it expresses something most probably. I don't know what exactly, but it's really nice. It's really nice. I really like this one, guys. Um, let me know what you think about the performance. Do what you think about this song? Um, will this will Ukraine win again with a um, like a song about the past and what happened with like, Russia and stuff like that? I wonder if that's the case. Especially when you think about what's going on right now with, between Russia and Ukraine. Let's not get it into politics. This is not a politics channel. It is about, it's all about music and I really like this song. No matter the message, it's, it's a really nice one. Really like the melodic line. I, you guys know I love this kind of ballads, emotional, slow tempo with a lot of vocals. You know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this. So of course this song is one of my favorites. Okay, yeah. Um, let me know in comments below what other countries I should check. Give this, this video what the fuck is going on? Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Um, give it a thumbs down if you did not. And let me know in comments below what you disagree with. Uh, we all have the right for an opinion, and I respect everybody's opinion. So leave it in the comments below. Love you all, guys. See you all in my next video. Bye.